Hey guys, Photoshop Dude here with this tutorial on how to create a Mars effect in Photoshop. Sorry if I'm rushing it, it's because um, it is quite a long thing to do with if I was to explain it in detail. So with YouTube's 10 minute limit, it's kind of hard. So uh, first of all, let's go to our layers box and to make our planet stand out, let's have a black background. So let's select the bottom layer. Uh, and make sure the color is set to black. So you want your primary color to be set to black, okay? Like I said, sorry if I'm rushing this. Then all we're gonna do is get the paint bucket tool, uh which is with the gradient, just hold down your mouse or right click and select uh paint bucket tool and then just click. So it makes your bottom layer black. Then we're gonna create a new layer by going to the layers box and clicking this icon here, it will create a new layer. Um, then you want to get the elliptical marquee tool then while holding down shift um, click and drag it out so you get a perfect circle so there's mine and still being on your second layer go to filter render and then clouds then we're going to go filter render difference clouds and uh, because that one isn't a very good mix of colors on my keyboard I'm going to press control or command and then F this redoes the effect uh, as you can see here so anyway now we're going to go filter uh, I think it's uh, what is it sorry about this Distort, so filter distort, then sapphirize. We're going to select it to 100%, then we're going to press OK, and then again we're going to press Ctrl or Command F to redo it. So now you can see it looks as if it's popping out. Now, to get this a bit more kind of Marsified looking, we're going to go to Edit, I mean Image, Adjustment, and then Levels. I'm going to bring the black up a bit the black is always on the uh, left side and then we're going to bring the white up a bit which is on the right side then we're just going to click the OK button uh, which is in the window titled levels then we're just going to go image adjustments and then color balance since Mars is red we're going to change this first slider to red we're going to change the bottom one to, to yellow but, and that was on the mid tones in the tone balance. So I'm going to go to shadows and we're going to do the same again. And then we're going to go to highlights, and this is quite an important part. You can't just like miss one bit. And change that to yellow and then change that to red. So I uh, might want to bring the red down a bit there. I would. Actually, I will keep it at four. So anyway, just press OK, and there's your Mars effect. Sorry if I rushed this tutorial. It's because of YouTube's 10-minute limit. Uh, this tutorial is three minutes. Yeah, so it isn't that long uh, because I rushed it and I didn't explain it in depth. So maybe I'll do some different tutorials explaining all these tools. But anyway, if we go to the layer two. Uh, which is where our Mars effect is. We can just go to the effects button to add a layer style and then we could go somewhere like Outer Glow. And um, maybe we could change it somewhere like Red. And then uh, increase the opacity or even decrease it and then maybe increase the size. See how it really adds a nice Mars effect. Oops, didn't mean to do that. See how it adds a nice Mars effect to it. So anyway, thank you for watching.